Monster Jam at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York. It's a relatively new event on the annual tour, but it's already become so special that virtually every Monster Jam superstar wants to grab that championship racing trophy. And it is an incredible lineup of the best in the business that are going to battle to get that trophy here in front of a sold-out capacity crowd. And believe me, this dome with incredible acoustics, great fans, it's loud, it's rocking, and the action on the track is going to be bad fast. Who's going to be the winner? We'll find out next on Monster Jam. Here's the lineup, and you're going to see a couple of new faces, some familiar ones. Always love seeing the Monster Lobster when you get up in this part of the country. Keep your eye on Crustacean. Here are four guns who really would like to put a notch in their belt right here, and this would be a big one to get at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. Now, you continue to go through. Mark McDonald is always a guy who adjusts in tricky conditions. you got to watch him. You know that. And then, when you get to the final page, look at this for the power hitters. The huh? heavy hitters there, man. My family included in it. Well, you're playing on house money. One of your family's going home with this trophy. You know, I'm going to say it's dad. I just want to say that so maybe I can get a free dinner out of it. <laughs> well, you know, you don't ride my bike. Well, it's an Anderson family battle. You guys ever talk about these over the Thanksgiving dinner table? You, you know, we, this we, we try to keep work out of personal life. That's our, that's our best bet at home. I can tell you that much, Scott. And here he is, Dennis Anderson, a grave digger. Oh, by the way, for those of you waiting for next generation, uh, your youngster Wade's already growing up. Ryan's about to have one, and then your little brother Teeny Man's still coming. There's more Anderson's coming. There's too many. There's so many of them. We're not going to know what to do. I don't. I, I wish we could get about ten of us in the final. All right, here we go, Timmy. Oh, oh no! no. What's Grave happening? digger is shut down. I don't know what's happened. The light's not flashing. The officials haven't shut him off. I'm not sure. Look oh, at that. He tried. He tried to drive over you, man. Ryan Anderson, what right a, now this kid is 10 foot tall and bulletproof. What a punk, man. <laughs> what a punk. Adam said that right now. He drove right over you, Dad. Dad, you talking about kicking a man when he's down? No, he's no down joke. I wanna, I, I'm curious to see what the time is. What a celebration we got going on here. Ride it out, ride it out. Look at that. Well, this is his first Syracuse championship when, you know, he comes to a, a building for the first time, and he's done this several times, and he gets the victory. He tends to be even crazier than normal. Look at that, he bumped Tom. Now, now he freestyles coming up after this. He's so. picking out all these legends, isn't he? Well, you know, here's the other thing. He's won more double down trophies than anybody. And next time here at Monster Jam, we'll see if he can do it here. But right now, Ryan Anderson out of the truck to the accolades of the crowd, the racing champion in Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. It's all for you guys, the fans. And this trophy, the first one I've ever won in Syracuse. I want to leave it to the biggest son of a digger fan in here tonight. Where are you at? All right, that's racing, but we've got a lot of great action coming up. And we begin with Aaron Cromer and Crazy Train. Yeah, his verticals, his up and down game is good. He's got to create, as he gets more experience, more momentum and more flow. Straight up and down, I mean, he, he, he's pretty sweet on the up and down moves. Total of 18 for Aaron Cromer and Crazy Train. And this guy, he can beat it if he can keep it together. Steve Kohler announcing his presence in Wrecking Crew. He is not going to be happy about this run, yet it is a rare treat for Wrecking Crew and Steve Kohler, but he's going to fill regulation and bonus time. Well, here's Bob Robbins in Aftershock. Fighting it, because that's what these guys do. They're not going to give up. A bad break for Aftershock. There won't be much the judges can do with this. It'll be a score of five. All right, on board with the rookie sensation, Cody Saucier, Monster Energy. Cody Saucier, really coming along in Monster Energy, best air of the night so far. Final big move, and Cody Saucier, what an impressive run from the rookie Monster Energy driver. Nicole Johnson in Scooby-Doo out to freestyle, who the score to beat, again, is the 22, posted by Cody Saucier in Monster Energy. A couple of very impressive combinations. And now some big air to go with it. 19 points for Scooby-Doo, so Monster Energy is still the leader. Here's B.J. Johnson, now part of the Mohawk Warrior team. 
you know, this will be one of the first times, uh, you know, that I'm getting ready to witness, you know, BJ freestyling in a stadium show. Um, I'm curious to see what he's got under his belt. There you go. Great little wheelie right into a combo there. You know, we talked about last week, Scott, the tires. He talked about it. Uh, it's a disadvantage for the racing portion, but I feel that this uh, this type of tire that BJ has for freestyle, he has a slight advantage because he can slide around and keep that momentum, and uh, hopefully it doesn't bite him, though. That's exactly what you're talking about. Look, he's able to stay in the throttle, let it slide, and pick it back up. There you go. There it is. Interesting. Some of the biggest air we've seen has come off one of the smaller jumps. That's, uh, to, in my eyes, that's one of the most exciting things to see is how much air these Monster Jam trucks can catch off the small obstacles. Nice momentum here. So now I think we are getting a challenger to Monster Energy for the lead. Look at that. Wow. That's great. Still plenty of time in regulation. Got to make the equipment hold up. And so far, it's doing just that. That's for B.J. Johnson and Mohawk Warrior. The truck is working great for him right now. Nice job on the throttle rhythm. I always love that sound. It kind of adds to the ambiance of the freestyle. Absolutely. You know, and, and that momentum, he's keeping it. He's getting the big air. Uh, yeah, he's definitely going to challenge Cody right now for that That's score. a nice way to leave the regulation judges as they're starting to put their scores in with one of his best leads. Now it's up to the bonus judge to add more if he can earn it. Nice cross thread there. A little bit of a slap wheelie out of it. Of course, whether it's Bellhan or Johnson, Mohawk Warriors seem to be known for slap wheelies. He likes that little slide out move in there. <laughs> For not hitting nothing, it still adds something visually if the fans are kind of excited about it. It's exciting for sure. Here we go. He's going to rip a donut here. He's going to end his run, man. That's awesome. I like the strategy here. He didn't keep doing the same thing. He just kept giving you something different. That's announcing your presence from Greg Winchenbach, the New Englander in Crustacean. Wow. How about that? Winchenbach really doing a great job. He, he's got a shot, baby. Frustation will tie for the lead. 23, Frustation. This is the most improved freestyler in the sport in the last few years. Look at that. For Link, that's the best jump we've seen. And that had a lot of potential calamity to it, didn't it? Little bit of trying to search and find something there in the middle of the run. One point short of the lead. The Fox Sports One sponsored cleanest truck. They'll need to beat a 23 to get in the hot seat as the leader. Nice move, nice air. Nicely done by Frank Kremel and the Fox Sports One cleanest. They're going to third place with that score of 20. All right, well, Scott's doing that. He's in second place. Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco will try to beat that 23, which is the top score. You know, Mark is known for being a great racer, but the thing is, sometimes he's overlooked for freestyle. And, and I don't even want to say that because I know when I show up at an event and Mark's there, you got to watch him. The Black El Toro Loco, of course, the El Toro team now with three body styles, the traditional orange, Becky McDonough, who campaigns a yellow El Toro, and, of course, Mark McDonald in the Black El Toro Loco. As, as you watch Mark run, as you, as you watch Mark run here, he, he's, uh, you know, he's never really searching, man. He's got a, it's like he's almost choreographed his run, but he hasn't. It just comes to him naturally, man. He's a very smooth, technical driver. The well, way you saw a moment ago, the words Monster Jam Superstore, you gotta go there. And if you're an El Toro local fan, you can actually start to collect merchandise from the black, the yellow, and the orange team. It's really cool. MonsterJamSuperstore.com. He's got a great run going on here. He's not doing the same thing. He's hitting obstacles side to side, getting some good cross threads in, never stopping. Still got time on the clock in regulation. You want a big finish because, again, the newcomers, Mohawk, Monster Energy, Crush Nation, they've been impressive. That was nice right there. Crossed it up over onto the other obstacle. That was a great move. Will make it to BKT Tires bonus time. Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco. He's got a great run going around. The momentum hasn't stopped. He's now on stop on the obstacles. Uh, he's doing great right now. It's so important, momentum and flow. I mean, because, I mean, 
and I don't want to make it sound easy because it's not. But oh, look at that, look at that. Right into the nuts. I love it. Yeah, that. that's a move right there. That's almost a triple combo there. <laughs> wow. But again, I don't want to say anybody can do big air, but you're going to see big air. One of the things the judges really want to see is that flow, that almost like a plant. And we got a new leader. Mark McDonald, El Toro Loco, with a 24, will go to the hot seat. It's Monster Mutt Rottweiler in action at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. I'm Scott Douglas, three-time Monster Jam World Champion, driver of the legend, Adam Anderson, alongside him. A former Team Great Bigger driver, Rod Schmidt, has really taken to his new assignment, his opportunity to kind of have his own persona. This, this is Rod's team now, rather than being part of the huge Great Bigger team, and he's, uh, he's really taken to it in the, in the Rottweiler camp. Absolutely. You know, the look of that truck is, is very awesome. I love it. My kid loves it. All the kids love it. And, and the driving style that Rod has, it fits that truck. And he, he's showing it to all these Monster Jam fans right now. Quick reset for you. The score to beat is now a 24 as Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco has moved into the number one spot. Rod's got some great momentum right now, some good air. We're going to be looking for those cross threads, these obstacles. They're getting wore down a little bit now that we're getting towards the end of the run. So in, in turn, not, you're not going to be as big, but the speed can be carried faster. Great cross thread up the front side of the van there. Nicely done. And, and you can tell Rod's got a plan. He's kind of attacking in segments here. He is, just like I said to Oh, oh, oh. Oh, save, save it. it. There it is. That's what we like to see. Best save of the night so far, and that will impress the judges. It certainly has got a buzz out of this crowd. He, he's attacking this thing from every which way. He knows. He's a veteran. He sees what's happening with this track, and he knows he can take those chances and be able to hopefully make his way out of it with that great save. He will now head into BKT Tires bonus time with, you would think, a chance. And he can get some bonus points to get the lead here. He's in the game anyway, that's for sure. He's already had a great wow factor. We're going to need to see another one for this bonus time right now to get his score bumped up as high as possible. And again, that's the thing about bonus time. You only got 30 seconds. You got to make it happen here to add up to five points from the bonus judge who's separate from the regulation judges. He, the, the bonus time, he, he's doing an awesome job. He's doing an awesome cross threads, great momentum, but we need that wow factor. Uh-oh. That was great. Nice there, not bad right there. 25 is now the score to beat for the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Well, going for the hardware, here he is in the awesome looking Lucas Oil Crusader. You know how much sponsors like Lucas Oil mean, along with the fans, just to keep you guys running. Absolutely, absolutely, Scott. You know, and Lucas Oil, the reason they are here is because of all of our great fans. They're their people, you know, and, and our people are theirs, and we share them all together. And Lucas Oil brings this great racing team here, and we know when Lucas Oil is in the house, they're here to try to take us down. Yeah, the upside is to put great products in your trucks, too. Lindsey Wink, the Lucas Oil Crusader, the latest in a lineage of successful teams he's driven for years in, of course, Blue Thunder and Iron Outlaw before that. He's got a great run going on. That momentum is he's really carrying it. These guys have been around for a while. These veterans, they, they know they can take those chances, even though they've got those tires still. They got the big cleated tires, but they're taking that chance and they're really whipping these trucks around. Down to 15 seconds left in regulation time for Lindsey Wink and the Lucas Oil Crusader airing it out. Airing it out right to the other side of the stadium, going to the next obstacle. He's carrying it. He, he's, uh, he's picked up the momentum just a little bit from what Rod has. But Rod had a great wow factor in there. Man. Whoa. That nicely done. There we go. Thought he was in big trouble going into big KT tires bonus time. He's still on all four. That's my favorite moment of Monster Jam is when you think you're in trouble. Uh-oh, he is in trouble right now. Mechanically, he's got an issue with his rear steer. This is Wait a minute. Bite. Our first move Whoa. in reverse. Fans love that. And that's adapting. You're right. Something's wrong. And he just said, all right, we're going to do it back. What is he doing? What? Is that a reverse donut? It's a reverse donut. How about that? Lucas Oil Crusader and the Monster Mutt Rottweiler, both with 25s. The bar got set early, and now some of the more experienced freestyle shoes have to elevate their game. Not that they wouldn't anyway, but it's this building crescendo. And now we're to the Avenger, the two-time world freestyle champion, Jim Cole. 
You know, he's going for it too, Scott, but it is. It's really hard when you're at the top of that list and you come out here and you see all these guys that are just getting into the sport and starting. I've been here for almost 10 years now and it's getting harder for me. I feel bad for what I've done to these guys, but look at them, they're still getting it. 1957 Chevrolet, that is the body style of choice and it has been for years for Jimmy Kohler in Avenger. For long school Avenger fans, they remember when it was a pickup truck body, but that's been a long time ago. I've been a big fan of Jimmy. I, you know, I've looked up to him and what he does and what he's done for the sport, man. And he's out here. He's out here to put on a show for these fans. Won the world championship in freestyle twice. Only Tom Mintz has won more than one world freestyle championship. You know, Kohler's been known for, known for this big air. Uh, he's going to struggle a little bit on this track to be able to get that big air. The, the jumps are the, the moisture in the track has come away from you know has made the hills come away from a little bit so what he's known for oh here we go just like what mark did in el toro and did it very well indeed that's the other challenge you're going to do something somebody else did you got to do at least as good or better and certainly avenger and el toro look both great on that move where they wheelied up into the next obstacle 22 will not take the lead for avenger here in freestyle good score not quite enough. Well, coming up next, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. Your dad used to give you all junk cars for Christmas presents. And again, part of that story is that right before Christmas, everybody else would be getting their GI Joes. Your dad was going out. You guys weren't a car. Had driver's license yet. He'd buy you junk cars, and you'd go out in the field and learn to drive. Yeah, we'd crash them, we'd work on them, we'd fix them. And that was our training to become what we want to be is the best Monster Jam drivers in the world. Well, you're a three-time world champion, and the only thing your brother doesn't have is a world title yet because he has been racking up the wins. One racing year, he is going for the double down right now. He, he's knocking on the back door. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Great save. In the very beginning of the run, way to start off. He's got awesome momentum, nonstop tackling the track right now. If he can keep this momentum up and keep it, get a couple more wow factors in there, he's going to have something going for him for that double down. This is a perfect track for Ryan's driving style. The track is getting a beat down a little bit, but he can perform better on this type of tracks and keep that high speed action going on. As long as he can keep the truck on all fours and keep it together, he's gonna be a contender. Never letting out into the car stack, going right into the next obstacle, crossing it up. That truck's smoking a little bit, man. He's, he's running for all she's worth. Man. With only 14 seconds left, man, he's really, he's done quite a bit. He's covered almost the entire track. He's gonna have to pull something out of his hat now. Well, he'll have to do it in BKT tires bonus time with a bunch of smoke billowing out the back of Son of a Digger. That's where he's headed. This has been a great run, but he's really gonna have to show us something here. Yeah, he's gonna need bonus points. Remember who's still to come to life in. Your dad, Tom. Those two guys are loaded for bear here, believe me. Wow, here we go. He's burning that thing up. <laughs> that poor truck. Brandon Vincent, get your wrenches out, big boy. He's not done. Look at oh, that. Look beautiful, at that. beautiful. I don't know what that looked like from outside, but I'm the heck of a ride. Track conditions are far from great. Ramps are going away. That just means hold it harder, wide up and faster. Go crazy. And now you're on board with Dennis Anderson and Gravedick. Like you said, Scott, he's been doing it for 32 years. I grew up my entire life watching this man right here, and I've learned from him. And uh, he, as long as he's been doing it, he's still got it. going to be a tough a tough road ahead for him though because where Ryan's at right now what what the level he has set to match that he's really going to have to show us something no doubt about that and that's where Ryan Anderson son of a digger is just really kind of shaking up the upper echelon here you know for years on that stat sheet yeah we saw up and comers 
but it would always be Grave Digger and Max D at the top in terms of claiming trophies. Now it's Legend and Son of a Digger, and guys like your dad are fighting for these trophies harder than they ever had to because of guys like you two, David Bradshaw, and others. And it kind of it's sad to say I feel bad sometimes when we do beat these guys because we've learned so much from them. But when they go out there and they put on a show like this, you can't feel but so bad because they can still rock the house. They can still rock the house, and Grave Digger's doing it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what do we got here? Look at that. That Grave Digger 30 landed it beautifully. Now remember, in racing, this truck shut down, and they were searching for problems. Looks like they corrected it. It seems they found the issue, never heard what it was, but it seems that the truck is running 100% right now. Dennis Anderson and Grave Digger will head to BKT Tires bonus time. And he's going to have to get some bonus points. I mean, this has been awesome. Son of a Digger was incredible, and I'm glad I'm not a judge. Look at that. Big time. I love seeing these inboard shots, man, because my dad does it old school. He doesn't have that full containment seat. So you can say he said he thinks he's riding in a car down the highway is what he feels like. He's just riding in there. Uh-oh, he's got an issue. They've shut. Why have they shut him down, though? He's got the right rear wheel is locked up on the truck. I don't know if they shut him down or if it's that same electrical right, issue that's on him. You can see the blinking lights there on the remote ignition interrupter. They're telling him to fire again, so I don't know. Yep, they're going to let him go. There's only a few seconds left in bonus time, but now uh -oh. he's just mad. Now he's mad. Why do they do that to him? All it does is cause more work for all of us. When you make him mad, it's not good. It's not. Well, it's good for the fans, because they generally see some Absolutely. spectacular stuff. Uh-oh, see, it shut off again. And the total's at 26. He goes into second place. Your brother's still got it one hand on that double down trophy. The problem is, this guy's hungry. Can you believe it? He hasn't won in a long time, and Tom Mench is ready to go big. No, he's been very, very close, and, and this has been the deal. Scott, I feel that he's been trying to save his truck somewhat at the beginning of these runs, and like you just talked about, he's starting big from the beginning this time, and that's what I remember as a kid of Tom Mintz, starting big, ending big, and that's what Tom's gonna have to do here to take the win. Man, he is on it. He's got great momentum right now. This track is in favor for sure for the speed, the momentum that everybody wants to see out of these trucks. And that truck is fast, man. Tom's truck is really fast, and he's able to attack these jumps and get a little more air. So he's got something on these guys. Yeah, but he's got to hit the big stuff, it looks to me like. Wow, there's a pretty good one. Some of the stuff that we saw some impressive leaks early is beaten down now. Yes. He's got to search for it now. He's got to find something new to do to be able to get that big air. That was pretty big right yeah, there. Uh oh, oh, no. Still 30 seconds left on the regulation clock, and it's Let's... been this kind of year for him, Adam, and I know just it, can't man. get this... it to hold up to, to get the wins he's used to. But, well, I, I shouldn't say that. He's not done. Yeah, he's not. They're not shutting him off. They're going to let him continue to run. Anything can happen. This is my favorite Tom Mintz right here. Look at that. Save on three. Oh, no, wait. Does he come back? <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Can you believe that? And he's still going. He'll go into bonus time. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's having some kind, some having some sort of fuel issue or something right now. He may have bumped the fuel shutoff or something when he had that wild ride, but he's got it turned back on and he's continuing on. This is this is Max D. This is yeah. it. This is it right here. He fills this bonus time and he may finally grab that first trophy of the year. With all due respect to your brother. Oh man, this is just will. This is just refusing to quit. He, he doesn't care about the equipment. He filled the clock. He filled bonus time. 28 to score to beat. He beat it for the first time in 2014, a major stadium championship to Tom Metz and Max D freestyle trophy in Syracuse. It was a wild night. Everybody did an awesome job. I knew there was only one way to win. That was go all out. We love you guys, Syracuse. You rock! Big thanks to my colleague Jody Donnelly for getting that mic down in front of Tom Mintz and getting the words of our freestyle champion start to finish. I got to compliment everybody. This was, you know, nobody laid an egg. I'm sorry. These are great runs. It was a great night overall, Scott. I think almost all these Monster Jam trucks actually finished their runs, made it into the bonus time from top to bottom, one of the best shows all year. And of course, Monster Jam getting ready to go worldwide this fall. The 
big world tour coming up, Mexico and Europe and Australia, and this is the kind of action fans over there are going to see. Adam Anderson, great big of the legend driver, three-time champion, last two world championships in racing. The great man up here. And I'd love to offer you a job in Boone, but I think you got more to do down the track. Hey, I'm counting on it, Scott. I can't drive these trucks forever. For Adam Anderson, I'm Scott Douglas. We'll catch you next time right here on Monster Jam.